Quote of the day is and seek help through patience and prayer. This is the verse from Quran. Today, the topic of my presentation is Zika virus, and I am presenting it under the supervision of Professor Dr. Saira Afsar. Learning outlines. Learning outlines of the presentation are introduction and problem statement, modes of transmission, clinical features, prevention and control of disease, treatment, and recent updates. At the end of this presentation, participants will be able to describe about the Zika virus, its prevalence, mode of transmission, clinical features, prevention and treatment, along with recent updates at the end. Case presentation. A woman, 27 years old, resident of Kachiya Badi Lahore, married for two years, presented to IOPD uh, of Mayo Hospital with the history of headache, fever and both red eyes. On inquiring, she told about having joint pain also. She is in her third trimester of pregnancy. She told that his husband had the same symptoms about a week back and he got recovered from it, but uh, she is still not getting any relief from local medications. A physician suspects some viral illness to confirm. He asked some for lab tests and obstetric ultrasound to check the fetal well-being. Lab results were hemoglobin was 9.43, neutrophils were normal. Uh, uh, PTA, PTT were in normal range about 20 and 35 respectively. LFT shows AST levels 27 and ALT about 32 that are almost normal. Uh, Dengue antigen, however, shows negative viral markers. Obstetric ultrasound shows fetal head a little lesser than expected. And serological studies shows RNA virus positive for Zika virus. Now, introduction of Zika virus. Zika virus is a positive stranded uh, RNA flavivirus in the family flaviviridae, which also includes dengue, West Nile, yellow fever, and Japanese encephalitis viruses. Zika virus is a mosquito-borne flavivirus that was first identified in Uganda in 1947 in monkeys. It was later identified in humans in 1952 in Uganda and United Republic of Tanzania. Now, problem statement, outbreak of Zika virus disease has been recorded in Africa, the Americas, Asia, and the Pacific. From 1960s to 1980s, rare sporadic cases of human infections were found across Africa and Asia, typically accompanied by mild illnesses. The first recorded outbreak of Zika virus disease was reported from the island of Yep in 2007. This was followed by a large outbreak of Zika virus infection in French uh, Polynesia in 2013 and other countries and territories in Pacific. In March 2015, Brazil reported a large outbreak of fresh illness that is soon identified as Zika virus infection and in July 2015 uh, found to be associated with uh, Guinevere syndrome. In October 2015, Brazil reported an association between Zika virus infection and microcephaly. Outbreaks and evidence of transmission soon appeared throughout the Americas, Africa, and other regions of the world. To date, a total of 86 countries and territories have reported evidence of mosquito-transmitted Zika infection. Now, transmission of virus. Zika is uh, uh, spread mostly by the bite of infected Aedes species mosquito, Aedes aegypti, and Aedes albopictus. These mos mosquitoes bite during the day and night. Uh, prevention of Zika is by avoiding mosquito bites. Zika can uh, be passed from a pregnant woman to her fetus. Infection during pregnancy can cause certain birth defects. Zika can be passed through sex from a person who has Zika to his or her sex partners. Condoms can reduce the chance of getting Zika uh, and uh, condoms include male and female, both. Uh, no transmission through mosquito bites. Zika virus is transmitted to people primarily through the bite of an infected Aedes species mosquito, that is Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. These are the same mosquitoes that spread dengue and chikungunya virus. These mosquitoes typically lay eggs in or near standing water in things like buckets, bowls, animal dishes, flower pots, and buses. Uh, they prefer to bite people and live indoors and outdoors near people. Now, transmission from mother to child. 
a pregnant woman can pass zika virus to her fetus during pregnancy uh, zika is a cause of microcephaly and other severe fatal uh, brain defects um, a pregnant woman already infected with zika virus can pass the virus to her fetus during the pregnancy or around the time of birth zika virus has been found in breast milk possible zika virus infection has been identified in breastfeeding babies but zika virus transmission through breast milk has not been confirmed transmission uh, through blood transfusion to date there have been uh, and no any confirmed blood transfusion case seen in the united states and there has been multiple reports of possible blood transfusion cases in the brazil it can be passed from a person with zika virus before their symptoms starts while they have symptoms and after their symptoms end anyone who lives in or travels to an area with the risk of zika and has not already been infected with zika virus can get it from mosquito bites once a person has been infected he or she is likely to be protected from future infections this map shows uh, the spread of zika virus globally that has ever been uh, found the colors that is in purple in the map shows the countries or territories that has ever reported zika cases in the past and uh, uh, if there was no yellow color it means that there is no country that is still having zika outbreak clinical features of the disease many people infected with zika virus won't have symptoms or will only have mild symptoms the most common symptoms of zika virus are fever rash headache joint pain conjunctivitis that is red eyes and muscle pain now how long symptoms last zika is usually mild with symptoms lasting for several days to a week uh, people usually don't get sick enough to go to hospital and they very rarely die of zika for this reason uh, many people might not realize that uh, they have been infected symptoms of zika are similar to other viruses uh, spread through mosquito bites like dengue and chikungunya the incubation period of zika virus disease is estimated to be about 3 to 14 days the majority of people infected with zika virus do not develop symptoms uh, complications of zika virus zika virus infection during pregnancy is a cause of microcephaly and other congenital abnormalities in the developing fetus and newborn zika infection in pregnancy also results in a pregnancy complications such as fetal loss stillbirth and preterm birth Zika virus infection is also trigger of Guillain-Barré syndrome, neuropathies, and myelitis, particularly in adults and older children. Congenital Zika syndrome includes uh, other malformations, including limb contractures, high muscle tone, eye abnormalities, hearing loss. The risk of congenital malformations following infections in pregnancy remains unknown. An estimated five to ten percent of infants born to a woman infected with Zika virus during pregnancy. have evidence of zika related complications congenital malformations occur following both symptomatic and asymptomatic infection failure to observe signs of uh, zika virus or congenital zika virus infection particularly when assessed in utero does not necessarily mean that the fetus or newborn does not have any abnormality uh, for example some abnormalities such as hearing and sight problems may not be detected in utero but only after birth some signs such as seizures may develop after birth uh, this picture shows uh, of the babies that are having microcephaly their uh, cts and their now zika associated guillain barre syndrome the incidence of zika associated guillain barre syndrome uh, is estimated to be 2 to 3 cases per 10000 zika virus infection which is similar to the risk associated with the campylobacter infection The interval between the antecedent illness and the onset of Guillain-Barre syndrome is five to ten days, which has led to speculations about a contributory uh, para-infectious process. Acute inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, acute motor axonal neuropathy, and Miller-Fisher syndrome, that is a subset of Guillain-Barre syndrome, that is characterized by ophthalmoplegia, ataxia, and areflexia, have been observed with Zika virus-associated Guillain-Barre syndrome. diagnosis uh, infection in zika virus may be suspected based on symptoms of uh, persons living in or visiting areas with zika virus transmission uh, and or aedes mosquito vectors 
A diagnosis of Zika virus infection can only be confirmed by lab tests of blood or other body fluids such as urine or semen. A definitive diagnosis relies on nucleic acid testing or uh, serological testing. A positive nucleic acid test shows the presence of Zika virus RNA, but does not necessarily indicate the presence of infectious virus. Confirmation of inconclusive uh, and positive IgM result requires further testing with the uh, plague reduction neutralization test, which can be performed only at highly specialized reference laboratories and is also subject to false positive results. It is therefore important when interpreting uh, serological results to consider past exposure to plague viruses including exposure resulting from travel in areas in which those viruses are endemic and from vaccination. Now treatment. Zika virus disease is usually mild and requires no specific treatment. People sick with Zika virus disease should get plenty of rest, drink enough fluid, and treat pain and fever with common uh, medicines. Uh, if symptoms worse, they should uh, seek medical care and advice, and there is no currently vaccine available. Primary prevention, protection against mosquito bites during the day and early uh, evening is a key measure to prevent Zika virus infection. Special attention should be given to prevention of mosquito bites among pregnant women, women of reproductive age and young children. Uh, personal protection measures include wearing cloths, preferably light colored, that covers as much of the body as possible using physical barriers such as uh, window screens, and closed doors and windows and applying insect repellents to skin or clothing that contains DD and uh, ecarcidin according to the product label instructions. Uh, secondary prevention controlling the spread of Zika virus. It requires multifaceted approach, which should uh, not only be concerned with vector control, but also with protecting individuals, especially pregnant women and women of reproductive age. Uh, this includes prevention from infection and unwanted pregnancies through supporting equitable access to sexual and reproductive health commodities and services. It also includes risk communication, providing usable and uh, contextualized knowledge on Zika. Aedes mosquitoes based, uh, breed in small collections of water around homes, school and work sites. It is important to eliminate these mosquito breeding sites, including covering and uh, storage containers removing standing water in flower pots and cleaning up trash and use dryer. Uh, community initiatives are essential to support local government and public health programs to reduce mosquito breeding sites. For regions with active transmission of Zika virus, all people with Zika virus infection and their sexual partners should receive information about the risk of sexual transmission of Zika virus. WHO recommends that sexually active men and women be correctly counseled and offered a full range of contraceptive methods to be able to make an informed choice about whether and when to become pregnant in order to prevent possible adverse pregnancy and fetal outcomes. For regions with no active transmission of Zika virus, WHO recommends uh, practicing safer sex or abstinence for a period of six months for men and two months for women <clears throat> who are returning from areas of active Zika virus transmission to prevent infection of their uh, partners. In accordance with standardized planning best practice, it provides updates of progress against the Zika strategic response plan uh, that was revised for July 2016 uh, to December 2017, which remains the main strategy document. Now Zika strategic response plan that is quarterly update. Key points that are shown are WHO is supporting countries to control Zika virus disease by taking actions outlined in the Zika strategic response framework. Advancing research in prevention, surveillance, and the control of Zika virus infection and associated complications. Developing, strengthening, and implementing integrated surveillance system for Zika virus infection and associated complications. Uh, strengthening the capacity of laboratories to test for Zika virus infection worldwide, uh, supporting global effort to implement and uh, monitor vector control strategies aimed at reducing Aedes mosquitoes population. Uh, strengthening care and support of affected children and families that are affected by the complications of Zika infection. 
Now this uh, slide shows the countries and territories that are reporting mosquito borne Zika infection. Uh, three categories are there. First category countries with a reported outbreak from 2015 onwards. Second category is countries with possible endemic transmission or evidence of local mosquito borne infection in 2016. And the third category is um, countries with evidence of local mosquito borne Zika virus infection in or before 2015 but without documentation of cases in 2016 or outbreak terminated. Uh, this shows the four main pillars that are uh, required for uh, prevention and control of the disease. First is detection, second is prevention, third is care and support, and fourth is the research. All these uh, uh, steps go in coordination with each other. With this quarterly update, WHO and partners have revised the overall funding requirement uh, for October 2016 through December 2017 to US dollar about uh, 112.5 million. Mobilizing resources against this budget is necessary to effectively implement ongoing and planned activities in accordance with the evolving Zika response. WHO and its partners have immediate priority areas for funding, which includes investment in research and development for better scientific understanding of Zika virus epidemiology, including enhanced understanding of different viral lineages. Prevention of adverse health outcomes associated with Zika virus infection through integrated vector management, risk communication and community engagement. Care and support of destabilized health system in order to provide appropriate guidance or effective surveillance and management of Zika virus disease. Uh, in countries with high vulnerability and low capacity. This picture shows the uh, funding that is received by WHO and selected group of partners from February to October 2016. <clears throat> uh, this shows that how much budget is used on uh, the processes. It shows that maximum budget is used in the process of research and then for prevention and uh, then to care and support detection and coordination. Recent updates. Uh, an article recently published is Zika virus in Pakistan. Is this the tip of an iceberg? The important highlights are besides exhibiting slim, uh, similar clinical signs to those of dengue and chicken gunia, Zika virus disease is associated with congenital microcephaly in Guyan-Berry syndrome. That is a matter of utmost concern. Uh, of particular note is the recent increase in GBS cases of unknown etiology in Pakistan population. Although no clinical case of Zika virus disease has been notified in Pakistan, the first serological traces of infection dates back to 1983. An important factor that might obscure Zika virus detection is the lack of national um, unified avovirus surveillance system. This uh, shows the maximum number of cases that are uh, evolving. It shows that Lahore, Islamabad, Karachi are uh, not having any such disease. Another article published is Zika virus infection after the pandemic. The pandemic is illustrative of universal failure of vector control program in regions where rapid urbanization and interconnectivity uh, promotes epidemic spread. However, new vector control approaches, such as those that involve genetically modified mosquitoes, uh, Valbosia transacted uh, mosquitoes, and uh, uh, pyripyroxifen-based uh, larvicides are under evaluation. Zika virus pandemic has waned, but the virus still causes a public uh, health threat, as shown by the continued reports of outbreak in Asia, India, and Africa. Now coming towards the MCQs. First MCQ is, um, the first recorded outbreak of Zika virus disease was reported from the island of Yeb, that is a uh, federated state of Micronesia, in 2017. Which of the following is the most common mode of infection in humans? Option A is blood transfusion. Option B is ingestion of oocytes. Option C, ingestion of virus containing food. And option D is transplacenta. Option D is the right one. Transplacental is the most common route. Blood transfusion was just seen in few cases and still it is not confirmed. 
a person abc is experiencing from fever and headache for last 3 days he is taking medication from tertiary care setup all his test reports are okay however he recently visited a place of zika virus outbreak which is the uh, treatment for zika virus option a zika vaccines option b antibiotics option c antiviral medication and uh, option d there are no vaccine or medications to treat zika fever d d yes, option d is the right one currently there are no uh, treatments found third mcq is uh, zika is usually mild with symptoms lasting for several days to a week people usually don't get sick enough to go to hospital and they very rarely die of zika how is zika fever diagnosed option a blood test option b skin sample option c x rays and option d none of the above a yes a is the right answer mosquitoes are members of group of almost 3600 species of small uh, flies within the family of uh, culicidia the word mosquito is spanish and portuguese for little fly it is mosquito species is responsible for the spread of option a zika virus option b chikungunya option c dengue and option b all of the above all of the above all of the above yes option d is the right one all of the above Fifth MCQ is Zika is spread mostly by the bite of an infectious Aedes species mosquito. Uh, this mosquito is by during the day and night, which is the incubation period of Zika virus. Option A is three to fourteen days. Option B two to seven days. Option C ten to fifteen days, and option D none of the above. Option A is the right one. Three to fourteen days is the period. Uh, in October 2015, Brazil reported an association between Zika virus infection and microcephaly. To date, a total of 86 countries and territories have reported evidence of mosquito-transmitted Zika infection. Which of the following are true regarding Zika virus? Option A is viral load is more in blood than semen. Option B, Zika virus has been found in breast milk too. Option C, virus transmits through saliva. And option D, high grade fever is a characteristic feature. B. B. Yes, option B is the right one. Zika virus is found in breast milk too. However, high grade fever is not a characteristic feature. Fever may be low grade. Primary prevention refers to actions aimed at avoiding the manifestation of a disease. um this may include actions to improve health outcomes there are many diseases that can only be prevented not treated uh, the best prevention strategy against zika virus is option a is antiviral drugs option b vaccines properly option c mosquito bite prevention and option d family planning c yes option c is the right one v- uh, mosquito bite prevention is the best prevention strategy and after that is the family planning eighth mcq is a person xyz presented to opd with a history of red eyes headache and fever he was saying that he might have dengue fever but his scores of illness suggest an other viral illness may be zika virus the diagnosis of zika virus includes option a presence of viral dna in blood presence of viral rna in blood option c is presence of viral protein in blood and option d presence of viral rna in saliva b yes option b is the right one viral rna is found in the blood an infant born to a mother that had zika virus illness in her first trimester then becomes fine delivered her baby through std now the baby has small head than normal and muscles are tense and taut for a baby The baby can have which of the following disease most likely? Option A is congenital varicella syndrome, congenital tetanus syndrome, option C congenital Zika syndrome, and option D congenital hypothyroidism. C. E. Yes, option C is the right one. A tenth MCQ is a young girl presented with weakness of both legs, diagnosed with Guillain-Barré syndrome. 
uh, it is a rare disorder where body's immune system uh, damages nerves. The damage to the nerves causes muscle weakness and sometimes paralysis. GBS can happen almost how many days after the Zika virus? Option A, one to two days. Option B, two to three days. Option C, five to ten days. And option D, one month. Uh, C is the right one. Five to ten days is the uh, period in which GPS can happen almost uh, after the infection of Zika virus. This is the key, and thank you.